Terrell, Tanya, what a morning for Chicago police. They have had their hands full with this investigation. We are still waiting to find out if and what robberies are connected to that Kia Soul that was found at the gas station just down the corner from here at Halstead and Addison. Now, I did talk to the owner of that vehicle. He was quite shocked to find police at his door this morning. I woke up to the sound of a buzzer and it was the police. They came to my apartment and notified me that my car was involved in a robbery. A string of five armed robberies on the north side and a stolen vehicle. That's the news Rob woke up to today as police brought him to this gas station on Addison and Halstead where his car was with a broken window. Rob says the offenders inside were arrested, but it's not clear what robberies they're responsible for. The latest robbery happened around 2:45 this morning near Dakin and Sheridan Road, where police say a 67 year old man was robbed at gunpoint. Police later found the offenders in a white vehicle, which appears to match the vehicle description of this Kia. More of the same happened just before midnight across the north side. Police say four robberies happened in the span of just 20 minutes. The first near Grace and Hoyne Avenue as a man and woman were just on the sidewalk when a white sedan pulled up next to them. Police say two offenders then got out, flashed their guns and stole personal property before driving off. One man heard a scream right outside his home. This one sounded like a lot crazier and I kind of jumped out of bed. I'm like, what was that? And it like continued for a couple seconds and then it died off. The three other incidents followed that same method with a matching vehicle description of a white sedan. Police still cannot confirm if it was the same crew using this vehicle to commit all the robberies. But Rob says the recent trend of stolen Kias already had him concerned and he had plans to buy a steering wheel lock this week to prevent what happened overnight. We kind of felt like we were on a, a clock. Like this was an inevitability. I think my wife wants to sell now. He's relieved to get his car back with minimal damage, while other residents are hoping the city can do more to prevent these crimes. I know the mayor, Brandon Johnson, hired some detectives, but it's like detective work is post work. What are we doing about, you know, people preventing that? Now, police still cannot link all of these together or the key to the robbery. So we're still waiting to find out some more information today. But the good news is that no one was injured in any of these overnight incidents. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC 7 Chicago Eyewitness News.